I'm in the 12. This is Nimue Alethiel. The quest is kind of a big deal. You've arrived inside Nimue's tower. Nimue casts a spell to send you to the nearby village. So her old assistant, Morticon, I think is a dwarf. He's gone a bit gaga and he's nicked her statue. So you I've appear got to get near the outskirts of a village, the place where Mortagon fled. The town seems to be recovering from a recent attack. Battered and bruised, Mortagon mutters. He has gone to go He did nick the statue. And then the kobolds nicked the statue off him. So now the kobolds have got the statue. Also, clearly this village is having trouble with attacking kobolds. So, it's only the, the right thing to do to thin the numbers down a bit. Plus it's the quest objective, so I've got to do it. It's not all about our prison here. Sometimes when you're on these big long quests for clever wizardy people, you've got to stop and look after the villagers. That's what it means to be an adventurer. Can't be all about mysterious remnants and great big weird scary artifacts. Yeah, Nimoy has been very vague about what the artifact is, what it does. Could be anything, could be a doomsday device. But she has put a dimensional anchor the last down. The cobalt spawns, yet there's no time to relax. You hear the sounds of something huge echoing off the canyon walls. All of these quests seem to have a dimensional anchor. Your Horrible thing. This Die. creature radiates powerful magic and clearly poses a major threat to the valley. Dimensional anchor stops you from being able to summon things. You can't cast Dimension Door either. And spines you to this place. With the spider defeated, you look around to see where this gargantuan creature came from. You spot the entrance to a cavern up above. I've got no inventory space left I've just remembered so I'm only going to take stuff if I really want it I think I've got one spot so I can pick up you enter the cavern these gigantic tunnels extend further into the right deeds original something is causing the creatures in the war to grow to an enormous size giant cobbles Die, giant cobbles, die! One little one to take. I'm gonna always kill the casters first, not last. More giant cobbles. I'm just gonna run straight past them and see if there are more to come. Okay. Oh, that is not clever because there is a caster. Okay. Kill him now. Kill him right now. There's the shame I've been following. I've seen him in the first place. Cheeky bugger. Alright, get this as well now. I think I drained all the constitution of that one.
these huge great big doors with these tiny little levers to open them those cobbles they're pretty good at big earthworks Now it's just been a, as standard really kind of walk, fight, walk, fight. Get that thing. Couple of also some traps. Summon Fergus just in case he wants to stand in them. Hirelings do love to stand in traps. It's one of their favourite tricks if you're not watching them. To stand in all the traps. You're doing a good job though, Fergus. Considering the amount of trouble I get myself into. Great. Cobalts stand arrayed near the water to harass anyone who comes near. A strange rhythmic whistling sound can be heard in the distance. Oh, what's that? Darts. Well, apart from Harley. I wonder if I can just ignore, well, I don't want to ignore too many of them because the dungeon is a lot. But. Ignore some of them. I'll just go for the, go for the switch. Get out of here. Lots and lots of giant kobolds, so it stands to reason that the artifact is, an, is a giant making artifact, hence the huge great big spider. And these giant rats as well. If I saw a giant rat like that in real life, I'd be running it. Faster than if I'd seen that spider. Nice, they've got a chest. More mysterious remnants. of stone grinding on stone can be heard from above. Indiana Jones, eat your heart out. Let's get this done. Bunch of ah, horrible, giant, nasty rats. Door artifact. 
for a tool that's just magically appeared. Got to kill the rats for good work and unlock it, yeah. Cool damp air fills the hallway as the door opens. Somehow, you can sense magic radiating from the chamber ahead. The artifact sits on a pedestal in the center of the chamber. The cobalt shaman Mechtek makes no move to attack. Instead, the giant creature booms. What happens when you use shiny? You want to see? Maybe <laughs> you explode. Mm. So you feel strange. As things start to go dark, you can just make out Mechtek fleeing the room. So it's made me big rather than turn me into a Muppet, which might have been an option. Now this big lever, tiny, tiny, tiny little lever. Tiny, 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 tiny lever. I can get it. Oh. The lever Ooh. breaks off in your hand. Now that you're under the artifact's influence, creatures that were gigantic moments ago now see the mess in the Fee fly for all your fun. So they're, so they're all giants, since so a lot of them are just. Oh, well, yeah, that's not it. Stamp on your tiny brewer. Oh, they're on them. Now, where do I go down here? Back the way I came. <laughs> Marbles! Turn that me over. Come on. This broad passageway is now too small for your gigantic body to fit through. You'll need to find a route better suited to someone else. You hear a door closing in the distance. An unusually deep cobalt voice shouts. You'll never get it. It mine. These once deadly traps have little effect on your giant form. It's nothing more than a beast here. More rats. <laughs> It's quite fun to be giant for a bit, but it's, it's a shame in a way that some of the mobs are giant too. It would be nice to just be a giant killing tiny mobs. A door closes and the cobalt shouts. With this shiny, our tribe rule everyone. No one call us little again. Is Fergus giant too? Where's Fergus? Hmm. He's a bit shorter than me. Oh, how much longer? Cornered so. Mechtech in this chamber. The entrance has been blocked by a recent cave, and the cobalt is too gigantic to escape. Mechtech talks, dropping his drives as he falls. The artifact clatters to the ground, and then, to your horror, disappears with a flash. Before you can absorb this turn of events, a portal opens nearby, and a small but familiar form emerges. Am I going to be a giant forever? Nah, eventually I'll turn Nimue back. Nimue assures you that the effects of the artifact will wear off soon. For and a that's moment, the end of the quest. imagine all the amazing things <laughs> you could do as a giant, and then you you're I want to be small again. Until you return to your normal size. See you in the next one.